Brody King, Malachi Black, Pentra, and CM Punk. And Ryan beat me to it. He found the chase. So, all good. He collects AEW, and I don't even like CM Punk, so pretty awesome. Congrats. Buenos dias, muchachos. Welcome back to JB's Toy Trunk for this week's hunt video. It is Thirsty Thursdays. I already had one cup of coffee at 3.30 this morning, but I'm still thirsty for more coffee. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to the Toy Hunt, guys. It is Thirsty Thursday. We are here in Monk's Corner at the Walmart. Uh, 5.55, the triple nickel. Hey, leave it in the comments, uh, you history peeps. If uh, leave, it, leave it in the comments if you know that one. And uh, we are here, still looking for WWE superstars. I don't know if we're ever gonna find it. We found that wave of Doink the Clown, Hogan and Andre here. Hopefully they get a restock because we still need to get Doink and Andre one of these days. And of course I keep checking the app, it's, it's not on there, whatever. Uh, we might hit another Walmart before work and maybe a Target before work, we'll see. Uh, you know, we're just out there seeing what the shelves are bringing to the big box four minutes till they open let's go in here and see what they got and then of course see what we got for the rest of the day i love walking into this walmart they always got the jams going taylor dane oh man taylor dane 19 something into the 90s yeah 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 tell it to my heart tell it to my heart tell it to my wallet let me just go ahead and spend some money today maybe not on some kids sunglasses or anything really Ooh, St. Patty's Day's coming up. Wish I was in Savannah. <laughs> Anybody been to the uh, Savannah St. Patty's Day parade? Oh man, I, I keep missing it. And I'm just only, what, less than two hours away from it? A two year hangover. Tell it to my heart. Come on. All right, I can't let this song keep going, so I'm gonna push pals and uh, I'll see you in the toy hall. But I love the song so much. Is this really a new figure or is this just a game? Tell it to my heart. Some clearance, we'll hit that up here in a minute. All right, let's look real quick, see if anybody beat me here. Okay. Is it this vow, what do you say? King of the Isle? Oh, another good song, man. Don't you want me, baby? That's what the chase is saying. Yes, I do. Oh. This is the same one. I'm <laughs> pretty sure this is the same one. He's not a waitress working at a cocktail bar. When we met him. Da -da 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 no copyright because they suck. Ooh, Destro, that's a good restock. That's a good figure to have for those inbox. And then I have him inbox the original a wave of him. And then, of course, I got this and Peeled them off that retro card. Peel them off that flimsy retro card. Oh, I don't want this. I want something different. Any chases in here? Oh, guys, it looks like it's the same from last time, but that's okay. Gotta come out and check. Micro Galaxy Squadron. Guy with four stomachs. Chop Chop. Lando. Never seen him before. Said no one. Uh, that's what Lando's saying right now. Don't you want me, baby? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Uh, that's another good one. For Samson. Let's look down here before we keep going. Uh, I was actually in Goose Creek yesterday. Didn't have too much, but they had this right here. So this is for my buddy Ryan. And he said at least they had something new. The new belt. All right, keep going down. Oh, no. So I'm looking for that red chase. And then down here, invisible, non-invisible jet, some DC. Okay, guys, looks like we got a lot of the same from last time. I'll backtrack over to Marvel and eh, get out of here a little quicker so we can maybe hit up another Walmart before work. Marvel, 
the smallest war machine. I'm kind of disappointed with that. That's right. Oh, another one. Okay, some more Marvel Legends. TMNT. All right, guys, I think we're done. I think we are done. That's what they're all saying right now. Don't you want me, baby? It's like, not really. I do, but I don't. Um, I'll eventually get Ratchet, but, you know, one at a time with Transformers. We're like one a year. We haven't, we haven't done Lego in a while. Um, I'm just going to do a quick pan, and if there's anything new that looks new to me, uh, for some reason that looks new, or maybe I just want it. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of this stuff looks like we've seen it before. Oh, the Lego. That looks cool. Oh. Marsha, what do you think? Get that for the grandbaby? That'd be kind of a fun build. And then the penguins. Gotta stop. Gotta stop. Hang a little die cast. Ooh, this is new. I don't think we've seen this. Now we got Jimmy Buffett on the radio. Come on, Taylor Dane to uh, Don't You Want Me Baby to Jimmy Buffett. I don't know. I don't know. Cheeseburger in Paradise. I, don't know. I could go for a cheeseburger. It's 6.02, 6.05 in the morning. I can go for a cheeseburger. That looks good right there. I know my oldest. Is that a back? Oh, that's the Back to the Future 3. Oh, and then there's a so Jada and Transformers Hasbro are mashing up the Ecto one and the Optimus Prime uh, Transformer Ghostbusters mashup. I think I might actually get those. I don't know. They just look too cool. A white Optimus Prime in the Ghostbusters color scheme. Ooh, there you are, Archer. There's your ghost again. A lot better price. <laughs> you only have to get one of those. Okay, guys. Come down here. Monster trucks always looking great. Oh, that looks cool. And there is an R32 with a Godzilla on it. I think it's a little bit older, but... If I find that, I'm definitely grabbing that one. So I'm going to dig through here. If I find it, obviously, I'll let you guys know. If not, we'll see you at NECA that way. Same thing here for the NECA and collector's area. We got some anime, Bandai. I'll restock Mike Myers. Halloween. Yeah, and a little bit of a mess of these uh, shelf warming TMNT three figures. So, Okay. Let's uh, see if we can jump on the road and actually hit another Walmart. Um, maybe Rivers? It's a little bit of a drive, but still early enough to beat some traffic. Let's see if we can do this this way. Well, we were here yesterday, and they got the new auto mutations. And the reason why we came back is I wasn't going to go to Rivers. Um, this is too much traffic, so... We're gonna go through here real quick, see if they got anything in the next last 24 hours. Should be real quick. We had some Almans with no accessories. And five POA Star Wars, which is always good to see. Uh, some new Black Series, and yeah, nothing different from yesterday, which is, you know, the non clearance ultimate, <laughs> WDB ultimates, and uh, the new Mandalorian Fleet Commander is really the newest thing here come down a little bit and we didn't see this at monk's corner but they had a lot of this stuff out now talking to the guys here they just busting out that recently because they still have a lot of back stock back there and they just pushing older older action figures and older toys out so it's i don't know you know it's just it was just sitting there not at their fault it's just so much backlog so I'm thinking about getting that and the Thunder Tank, and I might just do it today instead of having the huge dynamic, dynamic. NECA and Super 7 vehicles. I'll just grab those. One more time. 
recap. <laughs> Nothing new at our Goose Creek. Um, that's not a chase up there. Chase, chase, chase. No, no, no. All right. Just popping in real quick on our way to Somerville. And uh, we'll see if they got anything at the Walmart Somerville and maybe the Target. So we'll see you there. That's right. Let's make it happen. It's Thursday. It's not a wacky Wednesday. It's a thirsty Thursday. And uh, you just never know. Oh, a lot of people at the Walgreens. It's not even 730. And we got Boy George on the radio. And we're in the baby aisle because I'm a big baby. Big baby. What do you got here? That guy, Kakasi, and my hero, Academia. Ooh, two restocks of the uh, Freddy versus Jason. Pretty good head sculpts there. And some cards, some basic figs, some Hot Wheels, some Pops. Who's that? Omega Red exclusive, summer exclusive. Ooh, a Casey Jones in the Yellowstone, but Casey Jones? Pretty cool. Marvel. Some Walgreens exclusive jigsaw, 20% off. And there's a Moonstone. Moon cool. Come on. General Zod. Okay. I think that's where the fun ends, guys. <laughs> Happiness freshly brewed. Happiness in the toy aisle with new toys. Or just something cool to look at. So, no Starbucks today. So, for all you Starbucks haters and always jumping on me for going to Starbucks, I grabbed me some Chick fil A. Ha! Ha ha! Um, ooh. That looks like that looks like a ton of fun. Yellow submarine, Beatles. Okay. Tony Stank. Shout out to Disavowed. Three of them, man. Got some Rogers. Figure of the year. Can't wait for Dune. Some older GI Joe. We got Ray. Get a Ray. It looks like the same McFarlane. Okay, just coming in, guys, checking it out. It's got some Aquaman, Superman, and I agree with uh, a lot of you guys. There's still no good Superman out there from McFarlane, especially those two. Got Ratchet, swing around. Yeah, same over here. We're just doing a quick run through, guys. I don't think they got anything new last night. Yeah, they got the two three pack. Some chic ultimate tans. The rock. Trish. Thunder lips. Seth freaking Rollins. Shawn Michaels. Oh, that's on clearance. Hmm. 70% then I'll jump. And then you got mouse jaw, TMNT, got some dinos over there, Super Mario's over there. Yeah, oh, we got some Buzz Lightyear still hanging out. What's up with that? Oh, there we go. Penta. Oh, because we were here the other day. Let me show you real quick. Brady King, Malachi Black, Pentra. And CM Punk and Ryan beat me to it. He found the chase. So, all good. He collects AEW and I don't even like CM Punk. So, pretty awesome. Congrats. And, uh, unable to get the chase, but shout out to our buddy Ryan. Here's the Reaper. Toonie Terrors. I'm gonna get that. I might get that now. <laughs> There's our Flash Gordons that we found last week. And then, is this the Ming? Ming! Yep. Very cool.
and three pack of Shredder clones. Very cool. All right, guys, if there's anything else, we'll pop it up for you. But like I said, just doing a quick run through. Let me, let me hear it. Let me hear it. Well, 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 well. Monk's Corner Walmart, Goose Creek Walmart, Somerville Walmart, which I'm not, I didn't show you guys because there's, uh, man, there's geese everywhere. There's like, this is the main road, guys. Parking lot, yeah, main road, gotta move. I mean, you know, well, what's for dinner? Geese, goose. There ain't nothing, there's, there's bunnies right there. Kind of Zion. 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 Well, look, no, well, this is actually pretty decent. If you collect, mm -hmm. what's this? Para, Parasarophalophus. <laughs> Parasarophalophus. So there's two of them, you could army build it. $5.99. It's not bad. Then they got this other guy. They got this other guy. Gig Gigantosaurus. Gigantosaurus. So yeah, like come on, six bucks for that? Mine as well. But look, this right here. Seven bucks vehicle and a figure. It's not bad. But the, the thing is, what are they, four inch, five inch? So not so much six inch scale. That would be good though. Okay. Mm, that's about it. Those are the Deadpools. Look at that. What's your favorite one? I like this one, the heavy metal one. Looks like Eddie. It does look like Eddie. Where's Eddie? Put the Eddie pop next to him. Put them next to, to the right. Same, same. Same, same. <laughs> that's not the, it's not the diamond one because the, the diamond one you get like eight hundred dollars more on the resale. But it's your favorite thing in the world. It's glitter. <laughs> the diamond. I hate glitter. That's pretty good. Restock of this one. Oh. This is hard to turn down, especially on the restock. I haven't seen this one in a while. With Robin in there. Mm. Looks good. Welcome back for the what's in the trunk portion of, yes, just yesterday's toy hunt. We went to five or six stores, and believe it or not, for the very first time, before I say anything, like, comment, share, subscribe, for the very first time in, I'm going to say, a long time, or at least for this year, we didn't pick up any toys. Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh. I mean, we all have things that we want. We all have things that we wish for. And we actually got something in the mail that is comprised of things that a lot of us wish we could go back in time for. And we actually got the, that's right, the Toy Collectibles Wish Book, Visual History Documenting the Golden Age of Toys. Yeah, the Wish Book by Retro Toy Quest and of course our guy Wayne. Uh, we met Wayne at Retro Toy Convention out there in Greenville a couple months ago and this came in the mail just the other day. If you guys follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram guys. If you're looking for the real quick what's now, yeah, follow me on Instagram and you would have saw that I found, not found, but we got the mail call of um, the wish book. Now, I've never pretended to be, you know, um, the big know-it-all of anything you know toys and collectibles getting back into the game getting back into toy collecting it's been fun and looking at what's you know out on the shelves new and modern but you know of course hanging out at um, great toy and comic shops and talking with a lot of you guys and of course my friends you know as far as vintage and retro i know kenner star wars I know some G.I. Joe O-rings. I know a little bit of Transformers. But then when you go into those deeper cut lines that I didn't collect as a kid, and the only thing that I can think of the reason why is, you know, as a military brat, I was all over the place. And it's, you kind of just morph and become a chameleon to what's around you. And it just, wherever I moved and where, you know, as far as collecting toys and being a kid, 
I, I just collected what everybody in the neighborhood would collect. And just so happened that a lot of these lines, Dungeons and Dragons, Chuck Norris, Indiana Jones, Rambo, and the A-Team, I, I knew they were out there. I didn't really collect any of it. I, I don't ever remember having not one action figure or playset or vehicle from this these lines. But going through the wish book, yeah, <laughs> I really wish that I would have found these lines when I was younger because now as an adult collector, looking through this magnificent, and I, I put on my post, uh, meticulously amazing. It is so meticulous how how detailed and vivid these pictures are. Guys, I mean, I'm, I don't want to show you the whole book because you got to go get your own, but this is just a great example. Just look at that right there. That right there alone is telling me, hey, don't you wish you could go back in time and go collect these? It's like, well, I'm, it's not too late. The Toy Collector's Wish Book, something that it just, it, it sparks an energy in you and something that just really wants you to go back in time and whether or not I'm going to collect these lines, which I probably won't. I mean, I might pick up a few things here and there. I mean, my last video, I talked about grabbing a Beetlejuice and maybe maybe his car or his vehicle. But, but looking at these right here, it just really brings it back to a, a good time. You know, I wish we could go back, but we can't. You know, we really can't go back. But we could with toys and collectibles. No actual haul. Is this going to stem something that's going to cause trouble for this chaotic room? Yeah, probably will. Because... Um, volume two and volume three, we already know what could be and should be in those as far as toy lines. It's just going to spark that energy to go out and go out and shop vintage and retro. Again, I'm not completely flipping, taking all modern down and just going retro. I, I just, I know, um, if I had the money, I'd have another room for all that stuff, but we don't. So, um, let, leave it in the comments, guys. What do you guys think? Do you guys got the wish book? Uh, what were some of the things in maybe say volume one that you wish you had as a kid or are actually looking for now? And also looking at volume two and volume three, what, what are some of the lines that you wish you could go back to? All right, guys, that's it. That's it for this week's hunt. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. It is our anniversary week as far as on the channel. We are close to 3,000 subs. My goodness, in two years, we get we got close to 3,000 subs, and we can't thank you guys all enough for that. Uh, it's been a truly amazing ride. We've been enjoying the ride. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the ride. We got a few things in works for the channel. Got to update a trailer because it's been two years. And, of course, we're going to do probably an anniversary thank you and haul. Uh, Marsha and I will probably collaborate and jump in on there just to say thank you guys again. I can't believe I forgot to plug this guy's Captain Comics Expo right here in Charleston, the largest uh, Comic-Con in our area happening this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Unfortunately, I won't be able to go Saturday. We're going actually out of town. Um, so Friday and Saturday will be gone, but sun will be back Saturday night. So hopefully Sunday we'll be able to go out there and see what's left. Um, I might actually go through this wish book and uh, start looking and see if I could find any things from this wish book uh, out at the uh, convention. So Captain Comics Expo, enough babbling. Go check it out if you're in the area. Always enjoy the ride, guys. You guys have a great weekend. We'll see you next time. Peace. Oh, yeah. Holy moly, God. That's <laughs> dramatic.